Hi everyone, my name is Stuart Van Cleve. I'm the Web and Digital Services Librarian at Winona State University. Today I'm going to show you how to find and save citations using Zotero. We're starting at the main page of the library and we're going to do some article searches and some book searches as well. So we'll start with article searches and what I'm going to do is go into one of our databases right off the bat. I'm going to do one of the more general databases. So this is going to be Academic Search Premier. Uh, we'll click on Academic Search Premier. And we're going to do just a kind of example search. So I'll say children's literature. And so what I'm going to do here is show you how to make a selection from a list, a list like this in one of our databases. So say, for example, there are a number of articles in this uh, list of articles that you want to save the citations for all at once. What you can do is take your mouse over to the Zotero toolbar right here, and you'll see that there's a folder in this icon. And we click on this folder, and it will actually give you a drop-down selection list for all of the citations that are listed, for all of the resources that are listed in this database. So let's say, for example, if you want the second soul of the people, gender and irony, and we'll do the mother of all schemas, and we'll select those, those resources. You can see that Zotero does sometimes, you might have to clean up some of this stuff. It's just a machine, so it's trying its best, but there are going to be some modifications that you're gonna to wanna to make after you import them into your Zotero list. To import them into your Zotero list, you make the selections that you want and click on OK. It's saving it to your library. You can see down there. And once it gives you this larger box list, um, it will allow you to then check your list by clicking on the Z. And then you can see I've actually added a whole bunch of stuff already in here, but you can actually see the second soul, the people, gender and irony, and the mother of all schemas have been added to all the other things that I've added as examples. To delete one of these things, if you actually decide that you don't want it in a list, you just select it and then you click on the delete key on your keyboard. So you can see that these are going to have article icons and the info over here is going to be modifiable. So you can, for example, add some additional information to this record. It's very customizable, which I really like. Uh, I also like that it gives you a um, URL. So if we copy that URL and then we paste it, it will take us right to that article. So it's really um, an excellent tool for that purpose. I'll also now show you what's going to happen when you do a book list. So we'll close out of this and we'll get back to the library's main page. We're going to do a book search. We'll do the same thing. Um, we'll do a title search with the word children's literature. And here we once again have a list of all these different titles that we do have. So you can make any modifications that you want to in our catalog and then save the results of that search. So you click on that folder, it will once again give you a list of all the uh, results on this page and you can make selections in that list and it will import them into Zotero. You can also click on, say for example, if you find a record of a particular book um, right here. You can click on, you'll see that the icon has become just one individual thing. I click on that and it actually just directly loads it. So you don't have to select because there's no list. So it will just automatically bring that in. Now I do want to point out, uh, point your attention to the fact that it did generate the call number um, for this uh, title. Check to make sure that that's correct because you can see it actually kind of got a little confused there um, by that. These machines do get kind of confused sometimes. I just clicked on that red box that showed me that I had brought in the record just to get it out of the way. And then I just clicked on that and I paste it to change to make sure that it has that correct call number. This is gonna be really important for those books that you wanna find actually printed in a library, a physical book. Now I changed my list to put the call number uh, right here so I could see it very easily. To add anything to the list of, I, of information that you see about your citations here, um, you just click on this box right here and then you can say, for example, if you're interested in the date, seeing that right away, you can do that. The last thing I'll show you in this tutorial where we're just searching for things and finding citations and putting it into Zotero is what you do when you find a website. So say for example, you want to cite this, um, you will see that this icon has once again changed into the icon for a web page. Click on that and it will save that as well and it will actually take a snapshot of the website um, and include that as part of the citation. To learn more about Kruger Library, be sure to like us on Facebook, 
follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube account, or you can click on Ask Us and be directed to our frequently asked questions and contact information.